Let's, look, it's okay. Aiden, I have nothing against Elon Musk. Mm. I had no agenda except for people to get to know him, to get to know about me, to get to know about him, and maybe to get to learn something about themselves. And I thought I was doing what he wanted on the platform. He said he wanted different voices, that he thought that the people he had on the platform, i.e. Tucker Carlson, he thought they were, you know, they were right and he wanted a voice to sort of counter that. Uh, he thought I was left. We talked about that in the interview. Right. And I was like, yeah, why do you think I'm left? Um, and, he, and I asked him if he had seen me on, on television and he goes, yeah, I've seen clips. That's, that's the problem with most people who are my critics or detractors. They watch the five. They've yes, they've never seen me on CNN. Right. So they've seen me as a, a caricature of myself um, and with people who have you know an agenda and uh, there's no context there. So I think that he had seen me in, you know, under very similar circumstances. All right, guys, so we got to talk about delusional dummy Don Lemon, who quite honestly probably is one of the dumbest people uh, to ever work for a mainstream liberal media platform. And evidence of that is the fact that he fumbled probably one of the biggest bags of his career, which was to get paid a multi-million dollar deal to do a show on X. And I think that he knows this because ever since this interview, uh, he has been coping with the fact that he lost out on this deal. For whatever reason, Dummy Don, Don Eliminate, doesn't understand why Elon Musk spilled his sweet tea after what clearly and obviously was a hit job CNN style interview that Don Lemon conducted on his new boss before he could even get on the job. Take a look. You found out that the deal was off. Uh, because your agent, Jay Sir, has got a text from Elon Musk. No, no, it's a super agent. He doesn't like it when you call him agent. Super agent, excuse <laughs> me. tease him about that. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, he, he said contract terminated. Canceled. Canceled. Contract canceled. Contract canceled. Uh, am I, and there were other things. Were there other things? I'm correct. Uh, I heard that there were some other things in there, maybe some, some expletives or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which indicates that it wasn't just a sober decision by a platform that you perhaps weren't the correct it was very impulsive voice for the yeah for the platform i'm really upset with you mm -hmm. i don't like you and therefore i'm gonna you know cancel your contract and then you called linda yaccarino the ceo or no i did not she called you yes i was on a plane i think she was on a plane as well and um my agent called we were we were just had just landed at newark we were taxiing and the phone rang and I answered and he said i need you to you know go step out or whatever you're doing i said i can't i'm taxiing and then he told me and um, you know, that yeah. was it. But very quickly, I was just like, okay, good. A little surprising that the CEO of the company did not know about this, especially given how much she worked on bringing you over to the platform. Yeah. So you know who's <laughs> running the company. Right. <laughs> uh, so how much was Elon Musk going to pay you for the show? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, I Aiden? <laughs> uh, too bad. I don't, okay. I don't. I don't discuss money. Don't discuss publicly. Money. No. Okay. I so I suppose I can't get you to say I don't how discuss much. Discuss money or or terms. Have you heard from him since uh, all of this no, happened? In the last couple No, I have not of heard days? from him. We okay. used to text occasionally, not a lot. Occasionally. No. And so now I assume it's the lawyers working out. You know. No, there's no lawyers working out anything. I am under the assumption, and the, we're going to see they. We had a deal, mm -hmm. and they have to abide by the terms of the deal. If they don't um, do that within the the limits of the contract, then we'll, we'll, then we'll be going... forced to take legal action. We'll be forced to go okay. To so that hasn't started yet. No. That's assuming that he tries to wiggle out of this, right? which he has done, I think with a lot of uh, employees in yeah. the past, there's been a lot of severance. We'll, we'll see. But again, I yeah. don't like to talk about money or terms. It's, I, okay. I just find it gauche. It's just mm. not done. That's uh, the reason I have an agent. Have you been reading the New York Post? Uh, no, I don't read the New York Post. They, I read. Oh, I do read the New York Post. I lied. I read the horoscopes in the New York Post. Oh, That's about are they it. good? Yeah, they're great. Okay. Yeah. The New York Post has uh, been reporting some stuff based on sources, uh, clearly on the Musk camp of things that you had about made. About why he fired me? That you had made Not a bunch fired of, me that... That canceled the deal, that you had made a bunch of requests. You asked for like a cyber truck, oh, $8 million oh. annual salary, oh, all this stuff. That is nonsense. Okay. Um, people negotiate all the time, but that's, come on. Yeah. Uh, it's obviously a deflection from because it has nothing to do with the interview and i'm not going to fall into that I'm, okay uh, yeah i don't read the new york post but i do love their horoscopes yeah so you see that you heard that okay don lemon is reliving his interview he's rehashing his interview he's milking this interview 
for all the money that he can get and the publicity that he can get because he probably knows that this is his last five minutes of fame before all of this kind of flames out and the world moves on okay i mean the world is for the most part already kind of moved on okay i'm not sure exactly how don lemon is going to follow up this interview with something that is going to continue to elevate his platform but we'll see we'll see uh i personally think that don's lemon has been squeezed right i don't think that you can get any more juice out of don so uh, Don may realize that because he's basically kind of low-key pulling a race card on Elon Musk, okay? Because in a recent conversation that he had with one of his mainstream liberal media colleagues, Kara Swisher, who's also, again, one of these liberal media propagandists, uh, he speculated, I mean, basically suggested that Elon Musk was uncomfortable doing an interview with him because he's gay and black. Okay. Kara. My question is, mm -hmm. this is do you think Elon is racist? I don't, I, I hate to say, I don't know what's in his heart, but he certainly has a, a record of tweeting things publicly that are problematic and promoting them, especially, uh, and the stuff that's going on in the name of free speech on Twitter seems to favor white supremacists. Um, he seems to favor them. He seems to tweet them more often or affiliate with them or agree with them or say, read this, interesting. That It's sort mm -hmm. of a, it's a weird way. And so wink, I don't wink, see nod, him doing nod. the opposite. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah. And so um, I, I don't see the other stuff being promoted. Like, okay, uh, okay, I put this guy up. Now, I'm gonna, if he's really interested in real debate, uh, by the way, I don't think you should ever uh, debate a white supremacist. They're heinous and that's it. Um, but if he wants to go that far with his free speech absolutism, which I think is not absolute in any way, he would pr be promoting all kinds of points of view. So he wants to get through that pe with black, uh, with people of color and women are getting breaks yeah. when he has no proof of that. And secondly, instead of saying that, he, it, it's very, what he did there was really interesting. He was like, it was sort of the Tucker Carlson just asking questions. Well, we don't want standards to be lowered if they were and so it, it, it but they aren't so why are we arguing why? this it's like you know when did you when did you when did you last beat your wife right when did you you know that's it's that famous court questions yeah. when did you stop beating your wife and that's what that was and people have been asking me what i meant by when i said he did not like answering questions or being held to account from people like me and so some people took it to mean a racial thing i meant oh, someone who has a different worldview. But since people raised it and you said what you said, do you think that he was uncomfortable? I didn't want to go there. Do you think he was uncomfortable mm -hmm. sitting in front of a gay black guy? Uh, probably more gay than black, I would think. I hate to say that, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean, know. Ants I mean, he having like, answer questions from... Some... I don't think he likes control beyond himself. And okay. so it doesn't matter who's exerting it. I don't think he much likes Joe Biden either. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> this guy, Don Lemon, is the same individual that wonders why people think that he's on the left. OK, as if it is an incorrect assumption to assume that Don Lemon is a flaming progressive when he has shown throughout the years that he is a flaming progressive. And when he gets an independent show, uh, he in interviews Elon Musk asking questions that overtly have a left wing bias to them. And then after the interview, he does a recap cope session interview where he basically asks the question of, is Elon Musk racist? And he speculates that Elon Musk may be racist, okay? And he also may be homophobic, and that is why Elon Musk was uncomfortable in the interview with him. But yet, he doesn't understand why people think that he's a leftist. Amazing. Th this guy... The, the lack of self-awareness is actually legendary, right? Like, I honestly think that Don Lemon should um, lay on somebody's couch and be a part of a study, right? Because we should study these types of individuals who lack so much self-awareness, okay? I, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, everything this man says is contradictory, okay? He claims that he believes in free speech uh, while at the same time, like, begging Elon Musk to censor uh, opinions on X that he doesn't like. Again, I, I really don't understand it. I really don't get it. Um, he believes that he's an example of uh, what happens when black and gay people are being held back and being discriminated against, except 
he achieved uh, what most people would probably define as the peak of journalism being put on a mainstream liberal media platform in a primetime slot, which clearly and obviously was uh, a bad decision from CNN, uh, considering how he was an epic failure. He was a disaster. But to answer Don Lemon's question, no, <laughs> right? No, Elon Musk was not uncomfortable because you're black and you're gay. Why even ask that question? Like, he knows what he's doing. And, like, he also is just extremely disingenuous. That's what frustrates me about this guy, right? He tries to pretend like he doesn't know why Elon Musk had a problem with his employee uh, asking him these questions that could possibly cause financial troubles for Elon when Elon is employing this guy and paying this guy's check, okay? Or was you know, currently in negotiations to be financially supporting a guy that was doing an interview that could financially hurt him. But Don Lemon doesn't understand why Elon Musk might have been uncomfortable when there's clearly a conflict of interest, okay? It, 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 it can't be that, right? It can't be Don Lemon asking these questions that could financially hurt Elon uh, in a CNN gotcha style interview. No, 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 it's not that. It has to be. It has to be because I'm black and I'm gay, Right. That, that is why Elon Musk was uncomfortable or put it this way. Don Lemon is just asking questions. Right. Just asking questions. You know, it could be. I'm not saying that is because I'm black and gay, but, you know, that's what people have said. That's what they say. That's what people have told me. Right. Do you think so? Do you think it's because Don Lemon is black and gay? Right. Again, this is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy, he, he frustrates me to the point where I want to interview Don Lemon. Right. I might actually reach out to his team and be like, yo, Don, I would love to do an interview with you, right? I would love to sit down and ask you about this Elon Musk interview since you're making the rounds around the media, right? And you want some uh, attention for your show, right? I would love to interview you and ask you about these things, these questions and your agenda going into this interview because clearly and obviously you're delusional, okay? And you need a reality check on why would somebody like Elon Musk be uncomfortable with you asking him questions trying to insinuate that he's a racist or that he's transphobic uh, because of his positions on immigration or diversity, equity, and inclusion, which, you know, again, this guy, Don Lemon, and the left claims where there's no evidence that standards are being lowered, except there, there's evidence all over the place that standards are being lowered. Like, for example, when it comes to law enforcement and military, standards are being lowered for women, Right. Well, why is that? It's because women have a biological disadvantage. So they lower standards for women so that they can get into the military. So they can be in some of the same positions as men. Okay. There's proof and evidence of that. Affirmative action is lowering standards so that so-called people of color can uh, get into college. Now, the good thing is that the Supreme Court got rid of that. But you also have other things happening as well, too. Like you have some of these... Uh, you know, medical schools that are thinking about getting rid of the MCAT, okay? So you are getting rid of standardized tests, okay? Like the uh, SAT as well, too. Some colleges aren't considering it because it is uh, discriminatory against so-called people of color. That is an example of what people talk about when people talk about lowering the standards. No, nobody's overtly saying that if you're black, okay, we are going to lower standards for you, but they do kind of say that overtly when it comes to women, but when you talk about, again, academia, when you talk about doctors, things like that, um, you do have conversations about getting rid of standardized tests in order to level the playing field because standardized tests, again, are racist, right? They're discriminatory against so-called black and brown people. Take a look at this chart, okay? This data may be a little bit dated, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't really changed that much, okay? Okay. As you can see, this is what people are talking about when they talk about DEI, okay, in the lowering of standards. This is what they're talking about. As you can see, this is medical school acceptance rates by MCAT score, GPA, and race slash ethnicity. At the lower end of the scale, okay, with a lower MCAT score, a lower GPA, there's a much higher acceptance rate for black students, okay, uh, versus other races and ethnicities, okay? So you're more likely to be accepted if you're black or Hispanic than Asian or white if you have lower scores, okay? Basically, if you are as good on merit, you're more likely to be accepted if you're, you're black or Hispanic. Um, and then when you get up into the highest end of merit, right? So the highest uh, GPAs, the highest MCATs, uh, you're essentially guaranteed to get in if you're black, right? Uh, versus if you're Asian or you're white, then, you know, it might be a toss-up, right? It's it's still harder to get in despite, 
you know, having that merit. Okay. And, and that's what people are talking about. Okay. When you talk about so-called DEI, okay. And lowering standards, but again, this is a conversation that these people try to pretend, uh, we shouldn't be having, there's no merit to it. It doesn't exist. You know, you're making it up. You're a conspiracy theorist. You're racist. This is what they do because they don't want to talk about it. Because if you actually talk about it and you actually point out some of these issues, um, then they have to actually answer questions for why does this exist? And then they'll turn around and they talk about, well, America was systemically racist. So therefore that's why black people are dumber than everybody else. And they need a leg up. They need a booster seat, right? That's what they'll say. Okay. I, we already know the talking points, but again, that's not fair, right? I mean, you can't have that when it comes to the medical industry. Okay. Or when it comes to pilots, aviation, okay. The military, uh, when it comes to law enforcement, yeah, in some professions, that is dangerous, right? And I would say a vast majority of professions, probably not a good thing, okay? Probably not a good thing to have. But again, you know, it's just so hilarious to me how this guy, he just speculates that, I don't know, Elon Musk might have been uncomfortable because I'm black and gay, but I ain't necessarily saying it. But, you know, I am going to ask the question of, is Elon Musk racist? We're going to have that discussion, but, you know, I don't know. If he was uncomfortable because I'm black and gay, you, that is what you're trying to say, Don. Just have the cojones to come out and say it, right? If you're going to insinuate it, just say it. Just say, I, I believe Elon was uncomfortable because I'm black and gay. We know that's what you want to say, <laughs> right? Because you're having a whole conversation about it. That's why you ask the questions that you ask to try to uh, expose Elon as some type of bigot, which is the agenda of the mainstream liberal media, okay? And this is why people think that you're on the left. This ain't rocket science. It's really not. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.